Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me here today on this beautiful yet chilly and windy November beach clean day, as November beach clean days often go. But uh, I'm hunkered down here a bit in the dunes away from the water just for a moment to record the intro because the wind is loud today. But we'll get out there in a minute to do a challenge that I wanted to do a couple of weeks ago. But if you saw that video, I got very distracted with finding tennis balls instead. So uh, that challenge, of course, is the cap collecting challenge. So uh, we're going to head on over to the, we're in the harbor side of this beach area right now. We're going to head over to the actual seaside and see how many caps we can collect in one hour. I am guessing, and usually my guesses are pretty off in terms of how many I'll find. Uh, sometimes I think I'm going to find a lot of a type of plastic, a certain type of plastic, and other times uh, I don't, and it's <laughs> the opposite of what you expect. But I suspect, based on my previous cleans, that there is going to be many bottle caps today so you never know but uh let's get out there start collecting and uh get trashed
All right, well, the challenge is complete and holy cows. This is a lot of caps, a lot more than I expected. Um, I did the count in the montage while editing this video, but I'm gonna dump these out and count them now. So I have a better idea of how many exactly this is. So give me one second. Holy cow. So I don't know what the actual count in the montage was, like I said, but my count just now was 134 bottle caps. I sort of suspected that maybe I would collect around 100 just because, as I said at the beginning of the video, I see them all the time and they blend in really well. So a lot of people who are picking up trash sometimes don't notice them, um, especially the clear ones, but I did not expect quite this many. This is just insanity. Uh, but again, it speaks to the diversity of the different types of trash that you will find when you're out cleaning. And just some of those to note, because I think it's worth looking at sort of the evolution of this type of trash. Um, obviously, you have a lot of the uh, plastic water bottle caps. And over the years, they've actually tried to make these a little thinner. So you see this one is actually a little squished as well. But they actually have made the plastic a little uh not as thick, not as dense. And I think, I don't know, they they marketed it that way for a while where they said, oh, plastic water bottle caps are now 40% the plastic they used to be. So that's something, but again, they're still here. They're still washing up on the beach from people over the summer and just run off from storm drains and that sort of stuff. So a lot of different types of caps uh, as well, uh, soda bottle caps, are pretty standard, pretty typical, so you see a lot of those, but also bizarre things like this one says wishbone, so I think that's some sort of sauce or something maybe. So you get a lot of weird things like that too, such as, a, I think this might be an orange juice cap, and some of this is actually recyclable as well. This is actually a number two recyclable, so a lot of recycling centers will take these if they're clean enough, but you get your standard typical Gatorade ones, and sometimes you see them sort of pancaked like this. As well, you have your liquor bottle caps. These are kind of like a metal-y type plastic. I don't know exactly what they are. And also beer bottle caps. I picked some of these up too, although it was probably 10 to 1 plastic caps to beer bottle caps. But I felt like this one was topical, extra corona. So Such are the times we live in. Uh, and again, a lot of soda type caps, that sort of thing. So yeah, they're still out here. And I think it's a sign that as much as we like to think that if we recycle or just take out the trash and that sort of thing, it takes care of these problems. But again, a lot of this is runoff. It's from tipped over garbage cans and that sort of thing. So I think it's just a lot more to think about in terms of consumption habits and what more we can do to reduce a lot of our waste and recycle some of it. Because I find it all year, as I've said before, a lot of this stuff is not just left here over the summer, it's collecting year round. Uh, again, storm drains, you see it all the time. If you live anywhere near uh, the water or stream, stuff goes into storm drains, goes eventually down into the oceans here. So yeah, it's all connected and it's all important to think about and, and think about what you can do as well. And again, this was just an hour. If I had spent more time, I could have probably collected several hundred caps, which is crazy to think. But uh, I think that's enough caps for one day. So um yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. I have some interesting ideas coming up for the holidays, and that's actually something I wanted to announce that I'm going to, in the holiday spirit coming up, do a trash picker giveaway. Um, so as you know, if you follow my videos, I'm a big fan of a good trash picker. And uh, I thought it would be nice because it's been a really fun year to do these videos and really get more people interested and involved. I think we're almost up to 100 subscribers now. Uh, and a lot of great feedback, a lot of uh, really nice commentary. And I've learned a lot just talking to people who uh, comment on these videos um, about what I find as well, because I am only maybe somewhat knowledgeable about this stuff because I've been doing it for so long. So yeah, it's been really enlightening to just have more conversations with people and I thought I'd give back. So uh, I am going to do a trash picker giveaway. So basically next week's challenge because I haven't done a pretty straightforward beach clean uh, recently. More so I've been doing these challenges like see how many tennis balls I can collect, see how many balloons I can collect, see how many bottle caps I can collect. Um, 
and really in my spare time in between when I'm making videos during the week, if I go out, cause I live right by the beach, I'll just pick up whatever, uh, more so and, and collect it. And that's traditionally what I usually do. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do for next week. I'm just going to go out for an hour, see how much trash I can just fill up in a bat in a big bag and then weigh it. So the challenge is going to be whoever can guess the weight in pounds without going over is eligible to, um, win this uh the closest one will win a trash picker for <laughs> a holiday gift so in order to enter that you'll need to uh follow me on instagram because that's where i will post the post where you can basically comment your guesses so that'll be sometime next week early next week uh when i record that video so uh, i'll have my instagram linked in the uh section below so you can click on that and uh, follow me if you're interested in, in entering for next week. It's free, obviously. Uh, again, like I said, I just uh, I, I love how many people have been interested in, in wanting to get involved. So yeah, it's been really cool. So I'll have more information on that uh, later or early next week. So yeah, uh, so thanks for watching. Stop, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy this kind of adventuring, uh, please subscribe below, hit the bell below as well, and you'll get announcements when these videos post. We do them every Friday. Uh, and yeah, we're going to have many more to come. I know it's getting into winter season and it was cold and chilly and windy today, but that will not stop me uh, as the wind blows <laughs> and ruffles the, the phone mic here. Um, and I have some really fun ideas, like I said, coming up, get holiday giveaways, some other items I want to search for, all that good stuff. So yeah, subscribe if you're interested and thanks to everybody who has and who's watched and like I said, who's given great feedback. So yeah. Uh, that's all for this week. Uh, again, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Uh, and stay safe. Be well. Clean well out there. And hope to see you on the beach again soon.